in the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful, to whom we all have to turn back. Honorable listener and respectable audience, you know that we have started a series of linguistics. In linguistics, we commenced the chapter that is known as pragmatics. Pragmatics is the study of the use of language and context. By the grace of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we completed the topics of inference with examples. Today, I'm going to start the new topic in pragmatics and that is presupposition. What is presupposition? What are the types of presuppositions and some practical examples? All these will be discussed in the upcoming lectures. Today, I'm going to explain presupposition only. What is presupposition? Listeners and items. Presupposition, it is actually the speaker's assumption, the speaker's prior assumptions about an utterance is called presupposition. The speaker's prior assumptions about an utterance is called presupposition. In other words, in other words, the explanation of presupposition is when a speaker believes that something to be true in advance, that kind of uh, assumption is known as presupposition. Presupposition, it is an implicit assumption uh, or background knowledge about an utterance which is taken to be true and discourse. Listeners and ideas, we can know about preposition, about some words, about some utterance, and also uh, some, some signs and sentences, how it is. For example, let me uh, write some sentences about presupposition. Like, for example, the one sentence is, Have you, have you stopped eating meat? This is the sentence, have you stopped eating meat? What is the presupposition of this sentence? What does the speaker think about uh, this sentence? Definitely, the presupposition of this sentence is, I'm writing presupposition of this sentence, or this utterance. So, the presupposition is, you had Eaten meat. You had eaten meat once at a, at a time. So, have you stopped eating meat? Presupposition of this uh, uh, utterance is that the speakers think that someone, it means you had eaten uh, meat once or you once had eaten meat. Another example of presupposition is that have you Uh, talk to Aslam. Have you talked to Aslam? Listeners and writers, the presupposition of this sentence is that Aslam exists. Listeners and writers, as I told you, that presupposition, it is the speaker's assumption. The, the speaker's prior assumption about an utterance. And here the speaker's believes that something to be true about an utterance in advance. It is uh, an implicit, it is an implicit assumption about the word or background knowledge to an utterance and which is taken to be true in discourse. When we are talking about 
then it is an implicit assumption. Implicit assumption here means it is a hidden assumption. It is hidden belief about an utterance which is taken to be taken uh, to be true in advance. And it's a prior assumption, prior assumption about an utterance. Remember another interesting point. Here, another interesting point is that here, it is based on, not based on logic, it is based on the implicit assumption. And even the negation uh, about the assumption or the presupposition would be also taken uh, is a uh, is a presupposition. It means if you make negation in a sentence, that would be also considered as an assumption, and that will be also taken as a true, as a true statement. For example, uh, there is a sentence that have you. Have you uh, stopped? Or this is a bit a repeated sentence. Let me write another. Do you want? To read it again? To read it again? Listeners and artists, at, at the beginning I told you that uh, this again, some words can also tell us about presupposition. Like this word, tell me that someone has read it, something, a book or any other thing before. So that's why it is another presupposition of the sentence. When I say, do you want to read it again? The presupposition of this sentence is that you read it before, you read it at once. Okay. But if I change this sentence into negation, like, I do not want to read it again. So see, even in the negation, the answer would be, the presupposition would be that the speaker assumes that, the speaker believes that he read it. He read it once. Hope that